Greetings to everyone present here. We, the student of civil engineering department in Welting, has done a final year project under the guidance of Assistant Professor T. Ranganathan. We, the participants of Parat C, Giri A, Kameshmani S, and Sasisaran S G. Our project title is about identification of suitable site for human habitation using remote sensing and GIS. Introduction Human habitation is a state of living in a place where basic facilities are available. The minimum levels of basic needs are not enough in the increasing standard of living. The factors affecting the human habitation are groundwater quality, elevation, transportation and basic facilities. The features present in the selected area are mapped by using object software by creating different thematic map and recommending the suitable place for human habitation. Factors considered Groundwater quality A groundwater quality is a basic need and the only natural source for human being which helps in many ways especially for drinking purpose. Mostly in all villages, government provides water for each panjayat from over a tank by extracting groundwater from that village. The variation in the parameters will lead to dreadful health effect in all living things and make the environment pollute. Flood risk. The elevation mapping is used to select the suitable zone where the flood effect will be less. Transportation network. Transportation or transportation is a movement of people and good from one location to another in a safe manner in a specific time. The transportation timing will also include the condition of road, basic facilities for the people. It is the most important features which enables trade between people and essential for development of civilization. A traditional list of basic needs is food, shelter and clothing. Nowadays, a minimum level of consumption of basic needs is not just food, water, clothing and shelter. It includes sanitation, education and health care. Objective. Objective of our study is to generate the various thematic map using GIS and remote sensing technique and to identify and recommend the suitable site for human habitation based on the various thematic map. Need for study. To, just, to suggest a suitable place where the basic needs such as water availability, transportation facilities, institutional and commercial service for the human are available. To ensure the growth of real estate development in the correct path. Study area. <clears throat> Our study area is about 677.93 square meter that partially covers Kanjiburu, Stilferwandur, Trulotal. It is a developing area contains large number of industries which have impact on human habitation. In our study area, the number of schools are 35, number of colleges 34 numbers, number of hospitals 53 numbers, number of industries 106 numbers. In our total study area, the total settlement area is about 4728.53 hectare and land plot area suggested by land promoters are 947.26 hectares. It covers about 124 villages and has a total population of 2,9450 persons according to 2011 census report. Residential plot and plot Residential and plot area covers about 6.97% and 1.40% from overall area of about 67,793.3 hectares respectively. Data collection. The data like satellite images, water quality data, questionnaire survey, population data, elevation data, and location of hospitals, industries, schools, colleges, and railway station are collected from the various sources. Water quality data. The sampling points in the study area are selected in an appropriate interval of 5 km radius. The totally 34 samples are collected and tested in the laboratory to obtain the values of various parameters such as iron, pH, chloride, turbidity, total hardness and total dissolved solids. This is the sampling points in the study area. Totally there are 34 sampling points which is uh, shown in the figure. These are the sampling coordinates of latitude, longitude and the area. The water quality data obtained by uh, the water quality testing in the laboratory. Population data. Population data for the study area is taken from the census of India 2011. The total population in the study area is about 2,94,9450 persons from about 124 villages which partially covers 3 tall listed in the table.
காஞ்சிபுரம் ஸ்ரீபெரும்புதூர் ஆந்திரவல்லூர் டோட்லி தேர் ஆர் டூ லேக் நைன் தௌசண்ட் ஃபோர் ஃபிஃப்டி பர்சன்ஸ் ஷோஸ் தி நம் நேம் ஆஃப் தி வில்லேஜஸ் இன் தி ஸ்டடி ஏரியா தி கொஷினரி சர்வே ஃப்ரம் ஈச் சாம்பிளிங் பாயிண்ட்ஸ் இஸ் கலெக்டட் இன் அபவுட் த்ரீ மெம்பர்ஸ் பர் சாம்பிளிங் பாயிண்ட் தி கொஷினரி சர்வே இன்க்ளூட்ஸ் சோர்ஸ் ஆஃப் வாட்டர் அல்ட்ரானேட் சோர்ஸ் ஆஃப் வாட்டர் இஸ் வாட்டர் யூஸ்டு ஃபார் ட்ரிங்கிங் பர்பஸ் அவைலபிலிட்டி ஆஃப் ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் நியர் பை ஏரியாஸ் அண்ட் அவைலபிலிட்டி ஆஃப் ஆம்புலன்ஸ் சர்வீசஸ் அண்ட் ஃப்ளட் ரிஸ்க் அண்ட் ட்ரான்ஸ்போர்டேஷன் ஃபெசிலிட்டிஸ் அண்ட் கண்டிஷன் ஆஃப் தி ரோட்ஸ் This slide shows the result of questionnaire survey data regarding longitude, longitude water water availability, transfer facility, flood risk. Location of features. This slide shows the location of features in the study area. Star uh, H shows the hospital. Star with the blue uh, green shows the school. Star with the yellow shows the colleges and railway station and industries are shown in the figure. Satellite images were downloaded from the SAS Planet software in enhanced compression valid format from the Google map. The downloaded satellite image is georeferenced in Augie software by using clone coordinates on the satellite images. DEM Digital Elevation Mapping Cartosat 1 DEM version 3R1 satellite image provided by ISRO in Bowen website is downloaded in the tagged image file format. methodology our methodology comprises of four parts satellite image spatial features field data cartosat 1 from satellite image the satellite image is your reference vector layer is created for sat- settlement area residential part and road network from road network noted network analysis is done and the rest are really created the spatial features hospitals schools colleges railway station and industries are collected and uh, done as per analysis and rest are really created in in field data ground water quality and ground questionnaire survey is collected in ground water quality data ground water quality data is obtained by uh, testing in laboratory and water quality index is calculated interpolation is done for various uh, areas and rest are really created in cartosat 1 dem is taken from the bone website and elevation mapping and contour is done and the flood map is imported in the uh, uh, overlaid in the uh, dem and final laser array is created then these four laser arrays are weighted overlaid and classified as suitable site map is selected base map the base map is digitized digitized in augie software by using polyline tool for node dot work and polygon tool is used for plotting settlement area and residential plot the different utilities and industries in study area is plotted by importing the excel sheet containing the reference coordinates road network analysis the road network is created in the five categories national highway state highway major district road village road and local states in this shown in the figure the minimum design speed as per irc 73 1980 is assigned to the respective roads as shown in the table this slide shows the base map of the study area the base map contains hospital uh, coordinates of hospitals schools colleges railway station and industries and the plot residents railroad other road major district road state highway and national highway are shown in the base map this shows the network analysis the time to reach the nearest hospitals the green color shows that the area in the green color can reach the hospitals within 10 minutes and further 30 minutes 60 minutes and on to 20 minutes hotspot analysis the imported location data of industries and different utilities such as hospitals colleges schools and railway stations are assigned with ranks shown in the table hotspot analysis is used to locate the favorable location for the people to easy access of the utilities the location of various facilities and suitable criteria such as unsuitable suitable suitable moderate suitable suitable high suitable and extremely suitable are marked This slide shows the result of hotspot analysis. The white color area shows the extremely suitable and the green color shows the unsuitable area where the presence of industries are higher in that locations. 
ग्राउंड वाटर क्वालिटी आल वाटर क्वालिटी डेटा आर इंपोर्टेड इन टू आगे सॉफ्टवेयर इन एक्सेल फॉर आर फॉर्मेट विद डेटा कंटेनिंग इट सैम्पलिंग लोकेशन दी स्पेशल वेरिएशन ऑफ फीचर पैरामीटर इस मैप यूजिंग इंटरप्रेशन टूल वाटर क्वालिटी डेट इंडेक्स वाटर क्वालिटी इंडेक्स कैलकुलेटेड बाई हॉट एंड स्वेदर द स्टेटस ऑफ वाटर क्वालिटी इंडेक्स इज शोन इन दी टेबल इफ वाटर क्वालिटी इंडेक्स वैल्यू इज जीरो टू ट्वेंटी फाइव इट इज एक्सलेंट ट्वेंटी सिक्स टू फिफ्टी गुड फिफ्टी वन टू सेवेंटी फाइव फैन सेवेंटी सिक्स टू हंड्रेड पोअर हंड्रेड एंड वन टू वन फिफ्टी वेरी पोअर अब वन फिफ्टी वन फिट फॉर ड्रिंकिंग दिस लेट शोज इज स्पेसिव वेरिएशन ऑफ वाटर क्वालिटी इंडेक्स ब्लू कलर शोज एक्सलेंट एरिया फॉर वाटर क्वालिटी देन पिंक कलर शोज अन फिट फॉर ड्रिंकिंग देन डाउन The spatial variation of chlorate is shown in the figure. This slide shows the spatial variation of turbidity, spatial variation of total hardness. This slide shows the total variation of hardness and total variation of dis total dissolved solids. In this slide, the total variation of hardness and total variation of total dissolved solids are uh, mostly uh, same. This study area. This slide shows the total spatial variation of pH and spatial variation of ion. DEM digital elevation model. The downloaded CartoSat DEM version 3R1 satellite image is imported in Oculus software and elevation map is created. Using elevation map, contour lines are generated by using contour tool with a contour interval of 15 meter. The slope is from left to right side downward. This slide shows the contour map. Of the study area, the first is ninety, ninety, seventy-five, sixty, forty-five, and further. The downloaded image from the Bhuvan website shows the low-lying areas within two meter with respect to nearest team. Weighted overlay analysis. The weighted weight is assigned to each raster layer, such as water quality index, map, road network analysis map, digital elevation map. An interpolated hotspot analysis map. These lesser layers are overlaid using weighted overlay tool by assigning percentage of influence to each layer. The percentage influence for other features like DEM, hotspot map, and road network is assigned as 25, 13, and 12 percentage respectively. Groundwater quality. The special variation of various water quality parameters of different locations are compared to identify the location having high level of contamination. pH the value of pH of three samples is not within the acceptable limit the maximum of 8.6 bases in a grove meadow and the minimum of 5.6 by acidic in the stream meadow is observed according to the uh, chlorate and iron in chlorate value of chlorate for eight samples are not within the acceptable limit and in iron 26 samples are not within the acceptable limit and in case of total dissolved solid 16 samples are not within the acceptable limit The comparison of iron and pH in the industrial area is made because in if the pH value is low, the iron content will be high in the specific areas. In total, the total hardness, the total value of total hardness for the 23 samples is not within the acceptable limit. Turbidity. The value of turbidity for seven samples are not within the acceptable limit. Water quality index. Water quality index is mapped for six categories as shown in the table. From the table, it is shown that about 1838.52 per 52 hectares of the total area is excellent for drinking purpose, and 46022 Uh, 0.67 hectares are not suitable for uh, drinking purpose. The comparison of water quality map with the settlement area and residential part is shown in the figure. The villages including Guru Medu, Mail Madhur Mangalam, Sri Vallur, Mambalam, Enekaran, Vallapakkam, Varadapuram. Atta petai and tenneri are having very poor quality. Road water from the road water analysis map, which can access the nearest hospital, are shown in the table. The 
DEM. And the result of DEM map, the area below 50 meter MSL is 10,996.63 hectare, containing 17 villages with a population of 15,276. As its location is lower than the stormwater flow towards its location, hence the area is affected by the flood. Site suitability for human habitation. From the overall result, the classified range of water overlay analysis. If the range is 4 to 7, unsuitable, 7 to 10, less suitable, and comprises of 19 to 26, extremely suitable. The current status of the study area. There are the overall from the overall study area there are about 2,672.65 uh, hectares of hectares of area are suitable for uh, human habitation, in which shows that uh, 23,490.9 percentage of uh, nine hectares of area are not suitable for human habitation. Then it shows the uh, uh, settlement area and residential plot which is uh, unsuitable and extremely suitable in the table. This map shows the overall uh, site suitability map. The red color shows the unsuitable area, green color shows suitable area and uh, less suitable and extremely suitable areas. Site suitability map with the uh, name of the areas in the uh, extremely suitable and unsuitable sites. The size of the map with the residential plot and the settlement areas. Conclusion From our study, it is observed that the growth of urbanization is in an unplanned manner in the study area. Nearly 59.86% of the study area is not recommended for human habitation because of industrialization, poor groundwater quality, and high potential of flood. From 4,728.53 hectares of settlement area, there are about 34.65% of settlement area is adequate and 65.35% of settlement area is adequate for human habitation. So the present location of this residential area is virtually good. In the future, the percentage of inadequacy may be increased due to industrialization in the settlement area. The lands which are proposed for residents by the tenant promoters are real estate agents in the study area is about 947.26 hectare. From the 60.9-17 percentage residential plot area is unsuitable and 13.83 percentage is suitable for residents. Suggestion: The road network is good, but the condition of road in the village should be examined and maintained. In the current situation, the industrial development penetrates in the residential area, which tends to affect the living atmosphere of human, human in many views. Water quality in the most area is poor because of abnormal iron content. This may be due to industrial activities and low pH level. Groundwater in the 7970.13 hectare of settlement area and the 795.3 hectares residential parts are unfit for drinking. This is the reference we have taken from the various journals. Thank you.